You know, you're pretty good with your fists, Aizen. Not as good as you are with your swords. I feel like I've seen a lot of your crew with swords. Do you really never use them yourself? No. Not with the Reaper's curse, I don't. It likes to rear its head at the worst times. I've broken blades just by unsheathing them. And once, just as I was about to deliver a finishing blow, my blade separated from the hilt and went flying. That sort of thing. A sword isn't something I can rely upon when my life is at stake. I fight using only my own body. That's one less thing that can go wrong. It's too bad you're not a swordsman. I bet we could have had a hell of a fight. I wouldn't need a sword to make it interesting. What do you say? Want to try your sword against my curse? Sure, if the right time comes. Just don't whine when I end up winning. You took the words right out of my mouth. Well, here's where the real show starts. Do we have a plan first, mate? The fortress guards are almost all ordinary soldiers. Just a handful of exorcists to deal with. They went to the trouble to build this huge gate. You'd think they'd keep it better defended. You don't need an army of exorcists to keep a bunch of disorganized pirates under control, do you? As long as they're fighting ordinary humans, the royal army would suffice. So a few exorcists as officers is all they need. It was built as a symbol of the Empire. But it seems Artorius is the one really giving the orders. The Abbey directs security and defense, and Imperial soldiers are under exorcist command. We aim for the exorcists, then. The harder they are, the more fun it'll be. Ready to bust some heads? I'd rather cut them, actually. Just getting warmed up. It won't open. That's a real thick door, too. That's my guess. That window would probably work. It looks like a standalone building. This seems to be the place. Let's split up and look for the key. We'll search the other room. Ah! Aha! Found it.
Don't get so worked up over a little thing like that. It's proof you're alive. The... the bump is? No. I'm talking about the pain. But... but I'm... scared of pain. Well, kid, who isn't? Even you? Anyway, boys sure are fascinated by the weirdest things. Fascinated? You like this, right? I... I don't really know. But after I saw one in a book, I got a little curious about it. And I felt... You felt excited, didn't you? Yeah. I guess so. Do you know why the needle points north? Who figured out how to make it work? I thought that if I had one of these, maybe I could go on adventures. It's exciting. When you feel that way, you should talk about it. About what you like and dislike. If you're happy or scared. After all, you're alive. I'm... alive. That's just my opinion, though. Not an order. Got that? Understood. You found it? Now we can get that gate open. We needed a compass, too. Nice work. Thank you. Now to take care of that ship. Right. To the docks. <sighs> What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Uh, my compass fell on my head and gave me a bump. Let me take a look. Oh, wow, yeah, that's a big one. Bet that must hurt. Yeah, but at least I'm still alive. Are you saying that pain is proof that you're really alive? That's what Velvet told me. <sighs> well, no worry. I'll just push your bump back down, you'll be good as new. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Don't sweat it. Stop fooling around, you two. We have to hurry. Once we get back to the ship, just borrow some sugar and rub it on your bump. It'll make the swelling go down. Oh, okay. I promise I won't get mad if you talk. Okay. <sighs> You're awfully fond of that, aren't you? Still, you should keep it in your bag for now. I'll put it in my bag. Good. You know, that's a nice bag. It looks made to last. It's Moritz silk. I've never heard of Moritz silk. It's a fine fabric woven from the threads of the Dandarantula spider. It's got a delicate sheen, it's soft as a baby's skin, it's light and stretchable, it breathes, and it's quite durable. But that's not all. Its most fantastic quality is how it absorbs impact at... My, but you're quite the scholar. Knowledge and experience help you sniff out the best treasure. If you go and stuff every single scrap of plunder you find into your ship, she'll keel over. That does make sense. What I'm getting at is, your bag is the best place for you to keep that compass stored. Keep that thing safe. We need it. All right? All right. Ready to fight. Oh, 
unarmed. Victory is ours. Don't get overcome. I'll stop you. I'll stop you. Victory is ours. How do you plan to stop the battleship? It's equipped with large cannons. The plan is to use their gunpowder against them. An exorcist praetor? The docks are up ahead. Like it or not, we're coming through. Hey, wait! 
Are you intruders? I suppose it doesn't matter. I will cut down any who consort with demons. Face the fury of the Rangetsu sword style. Stand aside, Aizen. No, you stay back. I'll take care of this one. Sorry. This prey is mine. Get in my way and I'll kill you too. Are you mocking the Reaper? We're running out of time. You folks handle the ship. Careful, Rokuro. He's... I know. He's holding back. Let's go. Where did you learn the Rangetsu style? I studied directly under the legged Shigure of the Abbey. Lies. <laughs> He'd never take on a student. Let me guess. He taught you a few things one time when he was super bored, and then crushed you with them. Uh, uh. Is it done, Aizen? We're set. It also serves as a good signal for the Von Eltia. <sighs> well, that was about the saddest practice I've ever had. But at least I learned where he is. Yo! The Abbey's my goal now, too. Now I can do what I have to do and repay my debt at the same time. Uh, is that your doing? What? Is there a problem? No. A fine companion for the Reaper. Every Everything's ready. Let's get our gate on. Between your sword style and that giant blade you shoulder, I wonder if you've got Rangetsu blood in you. I do. What of it? Have you heard the name Kushiyamada? I hear they're smiths with some connection to House Rangetsu. Yeah, they're a distant relation, a clan of kitchen knife makers. Why, are you interested in cooking? No. I just heard they were fine blades. Thought one would make a good gift. Don't. Kushiyamata knives are cursed. Mm hmm? The blades themselves are excellent, but they give whoever holds one the urge to strike out at anyone and everyone. I've heard they use the blood of women they love in making their blades, but the truth is a mystery. The clan died out after they all turned on each other. The blades were all supposed to be melted down into slag. I suppose that's why talk of them is hard to come by these days. Such is the fate of House Rangetsu. Or maybe it's just in our blood. Sounds like there's even more to your clan than the rumors say. Better than there being less, I suppose. You'll be rust on my blade! 
I wish I had power like that. I'd forget about it if I were you. All right, it's open. What was that? It's the Von Eltia telling us they're approaching. Hurry! All right. We'll pop the gate open for her. Quickly. All right. Quickly. So, this opens the gate. One side, yes. The gate has two giant doors side by side, with matching levers to open each. Makes sense. All right, let's find the other device. And it's open. Let's meet up with the Von Eltia. Back to the docks. What? 
can't let you do that. This is my... This is my... This is my fortress! This an improvement. The compass. Okay, let's go. Four two. It's up. See this? Let's go. Hold stop. Hurricane. Hurricane. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. See this? Hold stop. See this? No escape. Let's go. Hold stop. See this? Hubble. Wind blast. The docks are swarming with demons. The Von Eltia will be overrun. Rats, we don't have long. Aizen, can you signal for them to go through without stopping? That'd keep them safe. But what about us? We'll jump down onto it as it goes past. Huh? Is there another option? Aizen, give some kind of sign. There's no need. The Von Eltia will sail through. Without an order? It was part of my plan. Welcome to the Eifried Way. It's coming at full speed! Let's get a move on then. Will this really work? Do you want the Reaper's reassurance?
Don't scare me like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes! Nailed it! <laughs> You're lucky Mommy Lou's around. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> Nicely done! You're not going to thank your savior for her crafty cannonballing? Are you nuts? I told you to stay away from the cannons, not bang on them. But it was fun! And everything worked out, right? I'm sorry. If it's that important to you, Keep it safe. You wouldn't want to lose it again. Give it. I need to set a course. <sighs> Fine. You read it for me then. Yeah. But listen, kid. Give me one false reading and your shark bait. <gasps> Better work hard. Um, what's Laffy said? <laughs> it's a name. Your name. My. my name? Laffy said. It's a fine name. Well, it's no Mogilu. We're through the channel. Give us a course, Lafayette. Aye, aye, sir. We're headed straight for Logris. Now this is refreshing, sailing into port like normal people. Well done, boy. The sharks are gonna go hungry tonight. Yes, I'm glad. This won't be a problem, docking the pirate ship here? So, how were the Northern Seas, Aizen? Helavis and Vortigern are in ruins. Trade with Northgand will likely be disrupted for quite some time. Well, I like the sound of that. I'll have to act quickly. Any word of the captain? Aye. It's an old rumor. But they say Captain Eifried was sent to Titania. The island prison overseen by the exorcists, huh? We'll have to look into that. I registered your vessel as one of our merchantmen, same as always. But even so, stay on guard. There's a grand ceremony being held in Logris. Lots of watchful eyes about. I see. So they exchange information for mooring. Information... for mooring? Having the latest news gives merchants a chance to make favorable trades. So it's worth protecting a pirate. I bet Aizen and his crew have connections like this in nearly every port. Not even the Abbey's Iron Decrees can withstand the force known as human greed. I see. Don't bother going to Titania. You won't find Eifried there. And how do you know that? Because I escaped from there. And before I did, I heard something from the prisoners. They said Eifried was the only prisoner to ever get out alive. And that he was taken by an old exorcist named Melchior. Lord Melchior is an elder legate at the Abbey. He should always be present at the headquarters. Don't call him Lord. 
Von Eifried's our captain. It's starting to look like his disappearance has connections with the highest levels of the Abbey. Their headquarters should be in the capital, right? Yes, at the Royal Villa in Logris. I've never been there, though. And Velvet, your business is with a man in the capital, right? Looks like we're all headed to the same place. I won't apologize for involving you. Usually I'm the one who says that. By the way, there's the little matter of your ship. My men brought her through the gate as well. We're going to use her as a scouting vessel. Do what you want. We stole it in the first place. A scouting vessel? I've assigned Benwick to her. He'll give you the details. Thank <laughs> you. 